Welcome to Better View. In this video, I am going to talk about brachial plexus of ox. Brachial plexus is formed by convergence of ventral rami of C6, C7, C8, T1 and T2 spinal nerves. So 6th, 7th and 8th cervical nerves and 1st and 2nd thoracic nerves. Brachial plexus is placed between thoracic wall and medial surface of the shoulder. It supplies innovation to muscles and skin of entire forelimb and certain parts of thorax and neck. So first, we will start with C6 and C7 which form two nerves. The first of which is subscapular and it provides innovation to the subscapular muscle and we have suprascapular which provides innovation to supraspinatus, infraspinatus and teres minor muscles. Now let us come to C7 and C8. C7 and C8 give rise to four nerves, the first of which is long thoracic. Long thoracic. Long thoracic nerve supply to the serratus ventralis muscle and serratus ventralis muscle has two parts, serratus cervices and serratus thoracis. Then the next one is the teres major nerve. So teres major nerve, also called the nerve to teres major, supply the teres major muscle and subscapular muscle. The third one is called the axillary. Now, axillary now innervate deltoideus, teres minor, teres major, and subscapular muscle. And the last, and definitely not the least, musculocutaneous. Now, musculocutaneous now innervates coracobrachialis, biceps brachii muscles, and the craniomedial forearm region okay now let us come to c8 and t1 c8 and t1 provide innovation to two nerves the first of which is the thoraco dorsal thoraco dorsal so thoracodorsal nerve supply the latissimus dorsi muscle and the second nerve from this is the median nerve. I am going to talk about median nerve a little bit later. C8, T1 and T2 which give rise to two nerves. First external thoracic and the ulna nerve. So external thoracic supply the pectoral, cutaneous and abdominal skin. So pectoral muscle, cutaneous muscles and the abdominal skin and the cutaneous muscles of the scapulohumeral region. Alnana, just like Mijan, I'll talk about it later. Now two nerves are remaining which are formed from C7, C8 and T1. So C7, C8 and T1. And these two nerves are the pectoral and radial nerve. And pectoral nerve innervates the superficial and deep pectoral muscles and the brachiocephalicus muscle. Now, as I said earlier, I'll talk about radial, median, and ulna nerve. So let us first start with radial nerve. Radial nerve is formed from C7, C8 and T1 and it reaches musculospiral groove of the humerus along the collateral radial artery and it gives off few branches. Okay. So what is happening here? It reaches the musculospiral groove of the humerus along the collateral radial artery and it gives off muscular branches. 
to which muscles? Triceps muscle, tensor fascia antibacal muscle and anconius muscles. Okay. Then it will divide into two trunks. We have superficial trunk and deep trunk. So the superficial trunk will reach the anterolateral aspect of the forearm and then it will join with the branch of medial nerve above the carpus and will pass down to the middle of the metacarpus to divide again. Okay. So at the middle of the metacarpal, the superficial trunk of the radial nerve will divide again to form anterior common axial digital branch and anterior medial abaxial digital branch. Okay, so we have anterior common axial digital branch and anterior medial abaxial digital branch. The deep trunk will pass between the brachialis and extensor carpi radialis and will supply all the extensor muscles and ulnaris lateralis. Okay, so it supplies all extensor muscles and ulnaris lateralis. Okay, so in summary, radial nerve will supply brachialis, triceps brachii, tensor fascia antibrachii, and conius, all the extensor muscles which include extensor carpi radialis, extensor carpi oblicus, common digital extensor medial digital extensor, lateral digital extensor and last ulnaris lateralis. Now we'll move to the next nerve that is the median nerve. Median nerve forms from C8 and T1 and it forms a loop with the musculocutaneous nerve at its origin through which the axillary artery passes. Then it runs downward along the medial aspect of the arm and reaches the pronator teres muscle and it will innervate the pronator teres muscle there. Then it will pass between radius and flexor carpi radialis and descend through the carpal sheath and reaches the metacarpal where just like radius it will divide into two branches. Okay. So first it formed a loop with the musculocutaneous nerve and then run downward along the medial aspect of the arm and gave a branch to pronator teres muscle. Then at the level of metacarpal, it again divided into medial trunk and lateral trunk. The medial and lateral trunk again both divide into apexial and axial branches. So they both will give off apexial and axial branches. So we have apexial, axial, axial, apexial. The abaxial branch will form the posterior medial abaxial digital branch or the nerve and the axial will join with the axial branch of the lateral trunk. So axial branch of the medial trunk and axial branch of the lateral trunk they will both join and form posterior common axial digital branch and the apexial one from the lateral trunk will join with the ulna nerve to form the posterior lateral apexial digital branch. So I will write it here. This will form posterior lateral apexial digital branch. Okay. So in summary the median nerve will supply the brachialis muscle, pronator teres, flexor carpi radialis, flexor carpi ulnaris, superficial digital flexor and deep digital flexor. Ulna nerve is formed from C8, T1 and T2 and it reaches middle of the arm and it reaches to the space between the medial condyle of humerus and olecranon process of ulna where it will give off a branch to the elbow. So it will give off a branch to elbow joint. 
then it will pass between heads of flexor carpi ulnaris and flexor carpi ulnaris muscle and then it will go below the flexor muscles where it will reach the tendon of ulnaris lateralis muscle and at this level it will divide into two branches which are the superficial and deep trunk so we have the deep trunk and the superficial trunk the superficial trunk will continue forward in the form of anterior lateral abaxal distal branch so it will move forward and will form the anterior lateral apexial distal branch while the deep trunk will descend along the length of the carpus and give fibers to the suspensory ligaments there and then it will join with the median nerve to continue as posterior lateral abaxial distal branch so this deep one it will give some branches to the suspensory ligaments and then it will join with the abaxial branch of the lateral trunk of median now to form the posterior lateral abaxial distal branch okay so in summary ulna nerve supplies flexor carpi ulnaris superficial digital flexor and deep digital flexor muscles this is it for the quick review of brachial plexus of ox i hope you like this video if so please leave a like leave a comment down below share this video with your friends and if you haven't then please subscribe to my channel thank you